Hey, what's up guys? Tom from Positively Diagnostics. Today we are working on a 2004 Volkswagen Passat. This has a 1.8 liter uh, turbo. And uh, I'm at my cousin Mike's shop down at PSK Performance and he found a bulletin that this ECM needs for a software update and I told him I was able to do that. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. Not really diagnosing a problem, but uh, we're gonna do an ECM software update on this old B5 Passat. All right guys, so before we start this ECM software update, a couple things you need, a good stable Wi-Fi connection or hardwired would be better. Uh, we're gonna do it using Mike's Wi-Fi. Uh, we have a pretty good connection here. And then you need a clean DC battery maintainer charger uh, to keep your voltage up uh, while you're doing the flash. So let me get you focused on the scan tool and we're gonna be using Otis, the factory scan tool. So let me get you focused on that and show you how to update this ECM. All right guys, so I already got the vehicle plugged in and I'm doing what's called GFF. Uh, it's called guided fault finding. It's Volkswagen's brand of an auto scan and it actually brought up this bulletin and it's telling us that this ECM does need updated. So we're gonna run through this should probably uh, talk about the bulletin. <laughs> That's why we're updating this software. So this ECM software needs updated. There are a few faults in this ECM, which I will show you when the scan tool gets done doing its thing. But according to this bulletin, uh, you can update the ECM programming uh, for DTC's P300 through P0304. There's a P0102, P1297, P0420, and a P0441. Uh, these are all just different faults, misfire faults, mass airflow faults, uh, connection charger, throttle valve pressure drop, CAD efficiency fault, and an EVAP incorrect purge flow just a bunch of those faults right there <clears throat> this GFF takes forever on these older cars. The fact that it's wireless is impressive. Ain't it? It's pretty cool. Disable, disable, disable the security system because the alarm goes off all the time. Okay. Do you want me to wait for you? No, you can wait. You can always just watch the video on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> all right, guys. So here's what we're gonna do. Go to control modules, and it's already showing the faults. So there we have the P1297. We also have the brake vacuum system mechanical malfunction. That's, those are always in here. We have a P0411. That stuff's unrelated. But then we have the P0300, the P0301, P0302. And what I want to show you first, we'll go into control module OBD, identification. And right there is our ECM part number. And according to this bulletin, according to the bulletin, there's our part number. We have the 
4B0906018DP. And it's saying all the old software here. This is going to be the new part number and new software version. So looking at the scan tool, we have the DP and there's our software version, 0002. So that right there shows us that we do in fact need this ECM update. So we'll go back to diagnosis, special functions, and we're going to adapt software, perform test. Uh, with the assistance of the software version management, this function brings control modules to the latest software status. So it's just saying this uh, SVM is what you can use to update software. So we'll hit yes, connect the charger, make sure uh, there's no CDs inside the drive, and the auto trans is in park. This one is in park, and unit code. So this is the SVM code for the bulletin. And we'll let that do its thing. So this is probably going to take a while. I will restart the camera when this is finished. Okay, so after this is done pulling all the data from the module, this is where you need a Gecko ID. So I just typed it in. This will give me access to the database and it's going to pull the data that it needs. So control modules will be updated to a recent version ECM oh, engine electronics flash will hit continue it's gonna do its thing again one thing I forgot to mention uh, probably best to have your laptop plugged in too you don't want the laptop dying in the middle of this so now this is going to go through and do the flash and however long it takes so down here, it'll sometimes give you an estimated remaining time, but so this one says 50 minutes and it climbs. So they're not that accurate. They're just jumped down to 29, 30 minutes. They're not super accurate, but And you just let it go through. Keep the laptop powered up. Keep the car powered up. Turn off any accessories. I have all the lights off. Blowers off. And I don't think the cooling fans come on. Some cars you have to unplug the cooling fans. So that's why you need a good charger. So we'll let this go through and see you at the end.
Okay, so it's done. It says to switch the ignition off. Ignition is off. And leave it switched off for 10 seconds. Switch the ignition on. Ignition is on. Communication with control modules is being established. And right here it just says, hey, these are the control modules that have just been updated. Engine electronics and the flashing is okay. Let's hit continue. And it's going to erase the codes. Data version in the vehicle is current. End of test. And that is that. Let's make sure it starts. All right, so now guys, the vehicle starts and runs. You just identify this control module, which is the ECM. And here we clear the faults, so there's no faults now. And this is our new updated part number. We now have a DQ at the end, and right there is gonna be our software. And then just another way to look at that would be going into control module OBD, identification. And right here, part number. Oh, that's actually our, we need to hit update. That's our old. <clears throat> so here's our new part number, the DQ, new software version, 0060. And this software is up to date and the vehicle runs. All right guys, so you just saw how to update software, update uh, new software version in an ECM. This is on an old Passat. Pretty much with the factory scan tool, that's how it works with pretty much every other module if in fact it can be updated. So uh, just a couple things to remember. Good Wi-Fi connection. Hardwired is probably preferred. Um, we weren't, but that was okay. We had a strong Wi-Fi connection. Uh, good battery maintainer, charger, clean DC power and make sure your laptop is plugged in too. You don't want that to die when you're in the middle of a flash. So that is how you update a module. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.